<laughs> action. <laughs> I am a little fidgety today. So. Uh, hi, everybody. Uh, happy Thursday. Um, it is uh, 2 o'clock. Oh, what a surprise. How many days actually, in a row have we been saying it's this? It's 2 of four. Oh, well, that's good. We're, <laughs> We're right on time. We set our standards way low nowadays, so yeah. it's, a, it's two ish. How's that sound? We're, we'll be here at two ish. We need to try harder. We do, that's right. But if everybody's used to it now, so they, they start joining about two and they'll, they'll find us quick. I know I had a customer ask, How come I can't find you guys at two? I'm like, Well, because we're never on at two. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <That's right. laughs> Sorry. Sorry. Two ish is, is the, new, the new norm here. So. Since the doors are open, though, it's harder for us to. That's a good point. It really is. Yeah. Like break so, away and um, <laughs> But anyway, um, we've got a really cool project for you. Was that like a shiver? Yeah, it was <laughs> shiver. <laughs> um, we've got a really, really cool project for you today from our new favorite digitizer, uh, the bike shop. <laughs> it makes me laugh. So they literally sell bikes and do digitizing on the side. Is that right? I yeah. guess. That's kind of cool. Everybody have... right now is already going out to the bike shop to figure out what the project is. Which yeah, they'll that's... probably already be able to figure it out. Yeah, exactly. It's their special of the month. Oh, is it? Mm -hmm. Do they sell designs too? Mm -hmm. Do they really? Mm -hmm. Oh, cool. Yeah. Well, well okay. downloads. Okay. Oh, good deal. So you guys need to go out and visit sure them. Um, they, they're providing some cool projects. You're going to like this one. It's really okay. cute. Yeah. Super cute. Super, super cute. Of course it is. That's right. Exactly. So announcements? You got some things? Um... I got a joke. No, that's good. <laughs> Kate stole yeah. my joke, by the way. No, I did not. It was sent to me, too. <laughs> <laughs> so thank you, Sharon, for sharing this one. It's really cute. Oh, I just laughed out loud. I, I did, mean, too. Yeah, I made you laugh. It was yeah. really funny. Frank and Diane were in a local shopping center just before Christmas. Diane suddenly noticed that Frank was missing. And as they had a lot to do, she called him on his cell phone. Diane asked, Frank, where are you? You know that we have lots to do. Frank said, do you remember the jewelry store we went to about 10 years ago and you fell in love with that diamond necklace? I could not afford it at the time and I said that one day I would get it for you. Little tears started to flow down Diane's cheek and she got all choked up. Yes, I do remember that shop, she replied. Well, I'm in Hooters next to that. <laughs> 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 very funny. So, um, that's a good one. It is a good one. Yeah. So, um, well, not really. Yeah. It's a naughty husband. It is a naughty husband mm -hmm. one. That's for sure. Um, we have a winner too from yesterday, right? Mm -hmm. So we are giving oh, away. Oh, that's a cool giveaway. That's um, nice. Yeah. This is for Donna Conroy. Donna, So Donna, I know you travel to all three stores, so <laughs> please let us know which store you would like this picked up at. Yep, so congratulations, you Donna, know, we, that's awesome. We actually have several customers that travel two stores, but not really too so many three, customers that's that right, will actually all go to all three, that's but Donna's one of those. That's right. So, um, I think the rest of them we're going to say, we have a lot of sewing to do today, so we'll be talking to you throughout uh, the, the live today. So you want to show them what you're doing, Christine? Sure. Okay. Are you going behind the camera? Sure. I'll, I'll take it. Okay. Okay. So if you guys went to the bike shop uh, website, you probably saw their design for September, and it is this really cute little Harvest Blessing jar hanger. Um, so we are going to be doing that today. Um, it was really cute and easy and fun. Um, so I'm doing that. Um, yes, there are kits. There's, yeah, that's right. So we, we got lots of kits. kits that's today. good. They are $5.99. So if you guys are interested, let us know. Um, they um, don't have too much in them. They have the two fabrics for the front, the backing, and the batting in it. So you just need your stabilizer and your thread. Um, so yes, like I said, those are $5.99 and we do have them available. Um, the stabilizers that I'm using again today are gonna be the, either the Wet and Gone or the Dissolve Away Mesh. So you need some sort of water soluble stabilizer. And then in your guys' kit again is the Color Me Cotton Embroidery Batting that we use 
a lot. We do use that a lot. Yep. That's our, basically one if of I'm our not favorites. using a fusible, this is what I'm using. Yeah, exactly. Using a fusible is <laughs> ultra soft. Um, so you hoop your um, dissolve away mesh alone in the hoop. And I have just one layer. I'll get you a chair. Thank you. So hi ladies, I'm running the camera today, so I hope you took your Dramamine. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry Donna, it was the wrong Donna. It's Donna Conroy who won, sorry. <laughs> oh, no. um, okay, so you can do this in a five by seven hoop. Um, we just had this one um, sitting over here, so I'm just gonna use the six by 10. Uh, but you don't have to use a six by, it will actually go in a five by seven. And it's hoop. just one per kit, right? Yep, so there's just one um, one design in there, or one thing. One, yes, and so it it's with enough the twine for- twine as well, sorry, I forgot to mention. Oh, that. even the twine, yeah, the twine wow, that's good. Well. Sorry. Okay, let's see here. Hi, everybody. The Ultra Soft is a little thinner than the Color Me, isn't it? It is. Yeah, it's not quite the quite the thickness, Terry, on that. Okay, so your first stitch <laughs> is going to go directly on top of your stabilizer. Oh, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> Sorry, I was reading your comments. Be, oh, I and, need a kit. <laughs> Connie. Well, congratulations on your Solaris, Becky. That's awesome. I'm glad you're using it already. Hopefully <laughs> I have a good one. <laughs> yeah, good luck with that, because <laughs> did you forget your directions? I don't know where they are. They're somewhere around here. That's all right. Okay. We're going to do it. She is off the top of her head here today. Okay. Whoops. So that's a placement stitch for our batting. So we're going to go ahead and lay that down and tack it down. You know, Jean, which stitch in the ditch foot do you want? We've got one for the digital dual feed and one regular one. So just let us know which stitch in the ditch foot you want. And yes, the design is free today. Yeah, I haven't linked anything up there, so as soon as I'm done, I'll I'll put it up there for you guys. So we got placement stitch, batting, and tack, tack down. down stitch. Yep. That's what we've done so far, everybody. And if you if anybody's asking, there's the project. And here is the project. And yes, there are kits. So if you are interested. Okay, so then you're going to trim your batting up to your stitches. They want to see your fingernails. Oh, why? <laughs> they asked what happened to the fingernail yeah, girl. It's, so <laughs> it's, it's uh, time to get them done. That's, that's what's pretty happened. funny. They're all. It's so funny because it happens like within date, like. Di Every day I break a nail, it seems like, when they're past due. That's and right, huh? It's telling you. That's for sure. I think you do it on purpose. <sighs> um, it is called a bike shop, but it's a different website, isn't it, yeah. Christine? It's a, so wait for the link. It's easier to get there if you go to the link because otherwise you're going to be buying a, a bike. <laughs> <laughs> I know how much you guys want that. Okay, so then... So then the next stitch is going to be a placement stitch for your top of your jar. So we're going to use this gray color for the top of our jar. So what's it doing now? Uh, the placement stitch. Oh, I see. Okay. Which you could probably figure it out, but. Just in case. Yep. Okay. <laughs> so then you will place your jar top fabric down and do your tack down you guys are getting really good at these in the hoop projects i think yeah patty we all 
don't need a kit, but you certainly want one, right? I mean, kits just make it, you don't have to think or... That's right. <laughs> Somebody That's did a... the thinking for you. <laughs> That's a good and point. it's all pre-cut and <laughs> ready to go. Okay, so the next part I'm going to do is I'm going to do the next stitch, which is going to be basically a placement stitch for my next piece of fabric. Um, and I'm going to trim my gray fabric up to that stitch. Nope, just kidding. I knew that was going to happen. Don't do that. <laughs> Forget. Never so mind. It's the stitch that it just did. So you want to trim your the bottom of your jar lid fabric up to that uh, stitching. And then you want to take your main jar print and you want to lay it right side down so that the bulk of the fabric is to the top here okay so if you're looking at it the way the right machine side, goes oh, okay. on okay oh, so, I see so now it's going to do a stitch along here and we are going to flip okay <laughs> Um, so this is where it is going to stitch and if you butt that up directly to there it's not going to give you a good seam allowance so I would extend about a quarter of an inch down past that stitch so when it stitches down you at least have a little bit of a seam allowance there so extend it down just a quarter of an inch I don't believe the directions tell you to do that perfect but they might yeah they said again ladies I think if you wait for the link, um, it's going to be easier for you guys to find this this um, design. Right, yeah. So, because it it is a big website and they do a lot of different things. So, just make sure that you wait for the link and we'll send you right there. Okay. And so, I'm going to pull that down and give this a really nice press. Okay. Hmm. They said anytime they need to trim, they think of you, Christine. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. <laughs> and then it's going to do a tack down now at the bottom, tacking our our main jar fabric down. Oh, I'm sorry. Perfect. Okay. That's kind of cool. Yeah. That's different, isn't it? Well, sort of. Sort of. Most of them make you, like, go around and then trim, right? Yeah. Okay. And on this one, so this is where I got that um, sewing the doorknob, like do not disturb. That one told me to cut right away. Um, this one, it doesn't have you cut right away. So it actually has you do all your embroidery and then trim your fabric. So um, it was a, it's more of what we're used to. Um, whereas um, the other one had us trim right away. This one didn't. So the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm, I have just a cream color thread and I'm gonna do the background quilting on the jar half of the fabric. Good work. Uh -huh. Just checking out this stuff out. <laughs> Hope you guys are all having a good week this week. No, it's already almost Friday. It's crazy. Okay. The kits, let me go show the kits to you while this is embroidering a little bit. Or are you almost done? Kits are $5.99 for the kit. And again, you do get everything in the kit except the thread and the stabilizer. So that is the good news. And it's really cute, super cute. Uh oh, what'd you do? <laughs> okay, so the next part is going to do is the... Um... Oh. Yes, Wanda, we will be announcing uh, hours for the weekend here as soon as the embroidery starts because yeah, we, we got have... a lot of announcements to make. And we have some long stitch out processes, so we have some announcements to make through those. Yes, exactly. So it's going to do the decorative stitching on the lid top, not the satin stitching, just the stitching that is going on the inside. So it's going to do those real quick. In one minute, it says. In one minute. <laughs> Hold, please. Yeah. 
Yeah, Christine was busy cutting kits yesterday. It was. It's kind of funny though, because I cut a lot of them and then I had a dream last night that we only sold like four of them. And I was like, <laughs> what are we gonna do with all of these kits? You uh, really uh, dream about. need some more time off. <laughs> and I was like talking to Kate. I'm like, I'm sorry, I didn't know. <laughs> That's pretty sad. <laughs> so please, ladies, don't just buy four kids. <laughs> yeah, really. That's a long minute. Thank you. <laughs> Judy McCreer just ordered four kits, so. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> That's, That's funny. funny. That's awesome. <laughs> that makes me laugh. Okay, so now it's gonna do the, um, it kinda looks like string or something tied around the top. Um, I'm gonna do mine in, I don't know, should I do it in dark brown? Sure. Dark brown. So the bike shop, I guess, is from Mount Shasta, California. Did you know that? You know what? I didn't really look too far. I kind of wanted to research them, um, but I just haven't. Um, Who found the first one? Elaine, Elaine found the first yeah, one, didn't she? she? Did. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. How she found it, I don't know. I don't know the history behind it, but yeah. they're cute. And it's funny because this one, I gave everybody the website for the sewing doorknob one. And the next day, they had taken that one down and put this one up. And so people were like, have you seen the Harvest one? And I'm like, oh, I'm going to do <laughs> that good. one. That's <laughs> good. Elaine sent it to me, too. And Judy says she's got your back. It's <laughs> <laughs> funny. I know, I woke up all worried. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Jan, I think she is overworked. I don't know. <laughs> Makes me laugh. Everybody's ordering four kits. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's uh, sorry, ladies, I'm laughing, so the phone's jiggling. You guys have your Dramamine, I warned you. Yeah, it is kind of a cute little project here. It is cute. Okay, now it's going to do the pumpkins. So this is going to take, so the first pumpkins that it does. Um, are the two orange ones here. So it does take um, five minutes to stitch those first two out. So I'm gonna go ahead and put my orange on. Sounds good. I'm ready for fall. If anyone's, anyone's are you was really? Ready. You know what? Um, uh, the, the weather this week has been absolutely spectacular. Well, so I'm ready for that. Week? It's going to be almost 100 on Saturday and Sunday, and then like a high of 45 on Tuesday. <laughs> yeah, that's... <laughs> like we're back to Colorado. Exactly. It's so funny. Okay. I don't know... Fall is definitely my favorite time of year for weather, though. Me too. But then the only thing bad about fall is then it's winter. <laughs> that's a good point. <laughs> that's usually how it works. You're right. So, okay. We were going to talk about... Where's Kate? Okay, so we got a lot of sewing to do, ladies. So we are going to talk a little bit about some classes that we have coming up because we've got a new one. Um, we got a new class scheduled that we just put on the class schedule, right? Um, it is, yeah. Yeah. Is. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so it is. Floriani is doing. A, we kind of mentioned this a couple of days ago. So Floriani is doing some hands-on classes that is going to be directly. It's going to be through the platform through Zoom, and it's going to be something that you will sign up um, with us. But basically, it is a class that you will take with a Floriani educator. Okay. So this is the first one. Um, there was an email that went out this morning on this, however, Floriani had an incorrect telephone number on this, so they have got it corrected. Um, so hopefully they'll be sending out a new one. If not, we will be sending this out in email too. But it is called Tulips in Bloom, and it is a felt 
um, a felt, it's almost like a small table. They say it's a placemat, but it looks more like a small um, table centerpiece. Um, and it is embroidery and sewing. You will be doing um, applique with what they call their bamboo felt, which I am, that's new to me. So this is the kit that you get. You get the stabilizer, your needles, your, all the tapes Look you need. Look at the kit, lady. This is your awesome. Thread. Yeah, the, you got the threads in there. And That's awesome. You also get a bonus um, CD that has um, additional designs included with it. So the kit fee for this class is $99. It's an all day class on, is the date on here? <laughs> right oh, there. there it is. October like, 7th. <laughs> yeah. It was hiding right there. Yeah. So it's coming up in about five weeks. So October 7th at 10 a.m. Um, this is on our website, so you can sign up through our website or you can call any one of the stores and register for this and then we we will be responsible for getting the kits to you. Um, but like I said, this would be more like having an educator into the store. So the educator will be teaching this. It will not be a member of um, Above and Beyond staff. Perfect. Cool. That's okay. awesome. That's so a good one. So this is the first one of several. That's that the, that have. kit is worth it in itself. That's yeah, really nice. Yeah. yeah. Really so nice that's kit. good. So are, are they, they going to be able to watch this after it's taped? Yes. yes. Uh -huh. So it will be. I'm not. I think it's on the Zoom format, ladies. So if you um, have experienced that before. Um, we should be able to have that tape up. If you can't make that particular date, you can watch the class at a later time. Did Christine and I tell you, Patrick, that we're not going to be in that day because we're actually going to take the class? Oh, they're good. Yeah, good. <laughs> <laughs> I sort of figured that, yes. <laughs> well, we might learn something, right? We all learn something, so... Yeah, Patty, I hope I got... In fact, I think I answered before you asked. That's good. That's it. That she wanted to know if it would be a later date if you can't make the seventh. Again, if you can't make that time, um, you can watch it on tape delay and and still do the project. So, yes. perfect. Okay. Also, this weekend, ladies, we are going to be closed on Monday. So we are we decided um, uh, to close the store down on Monday so everybody can enjoy the the Labor Day. Yeah, really. That's right. So we will not have live on Monday. So, <laughs> so um, we are going to close down on Monday so everybody can enjoy the Labor Day holiday and with the beautiful weather. Since it's going to be 40 degrees on Tuesday, we figured, yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> so, and, but we are having a big sale this weekend. So we, um, you should have an email coming to you in about an hour. I'm telling you about our sale. Um, that's going to be at the stores on s Friday and Saturday, which is tomorrow already. So um, so we are having a two-day sale for the Labor Day holiday. We're going to have specials on threads. We're going to have specials on um, feet, on lump machines. Again, we've got some really good deals on tables, too, if you want a table to go with your machines. So... Um, are you done holding the camera at me? I am. I know. Yeah. Why? You, you, you know what you should have done? You should have tried to mirror my mouth so they would have think that. This is kind of awkward, me just standing here. At this point, you should have flipped the camera around to yourself. Oh, you think? Yeah, no. Hold it like a selfie. That, that's right, exactly. All right. So, again, look for the, the sale. We've got an email coming to you this afternoon. It'll tell you a little bit about the sale that we're doing. How are we doing over here, Christine? Good. So it stiffs out the orange for the two pumpkins, and then I changed it to a brown to do the um, detailing on the pumpkins, I guess. Oh, yeah, Linda, I'm sure the weather in Buffalo, though, is pretty nice So uh, this time of year. I imagine it's gorgeous up there. Where's Buffalo? New York. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's really cold, isn't it? Not it's yet. No, not yet. Not, not yet. Not yet. And Lorraine, we're going to be in Littleton tomorrow. Kate and I are both going to be down there to. Um, so we'll see you there. That's good. Yeah, so I think we're doing live from Littleton tomorrow. So it'll be a little bit different uh, surroundings. Yeah, that'd be cool. That'd be good. It means I don't have to come up with something. 
<laughs> yeah, scuba is a good point. <laughs> That's a good thing. So this is all just, all you're going to do is embroider from here on out, right? I am just going to embroider from here on out until we um, put the backing and the ribbon on, or the twine. Yep. Yes, Bridget. Um, uh, again, hopefully you're on our mailing list. <laughs> I know um, we, we've struggled getting the e emails to you guys who have joined up on the mailing list, but I think I got that rectified a couple of days ago so you should be getting emails to us so you should be getting emails from us yeah emails from us sorry <laughs> and yes uh, by the way we will ship on the on the sale stuff too so don't worry about that if you want anything you can email us or tell us on the live or call us so any of the above Take four minutes. Four more minutes. Four minutes. We got a lot of embroidery today. I know. Zoom oh, it's a thirty-five minute design. It is. Wow. Yep. Gotta find lots of stuff to talk about. That's right. Exactly. <laughs> Which I don't have anything. So everybody lo asks lots of questions. That's right. Exactly. Right. Yes, Christine's going to get her nails done soon. Sunday. I'm just joking. They didn't actually say that. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I am. It's a plan. So hopefully you guys have gone out. Have you seen that we're actually getting these up on, um, up on YouTube? So we, uh, if you guys have not been onto our YouTube channel yet, you need to go out and check that out too. Website. If you're putting them on our website, where at on our website are you putting them? On? We haven't figured that part out yet. Oh. So it's just YouTube. Okay. At this point. Okay. Cool. What was the batting used? The batting used. It was our Color Me batting, the one that Kate likes the spelling of so much. Yep, the Color Me cotton. Color Me cotton. Mm -hmm. Is the one I used today. So pretty much this one is what I use if it's not a fusible, if I don't want to fuse it. Um, and then um, Kimberbell actually uses this in a lot of their stuff as well. Yes, they do. Yes. So. Wow, they got a lot of questions now. You shouldn't have asked them to ask Perfect. questions. I'm like going crazy here. Uh oh. I'm so, um, yes, the other thing we're going to talk about on the next big sewing thing is <laughs> <laughs> is the product launch. So we are going to be doing the product launch next week, and we will have a wish list up for you, ladies, on. Tuesday that tells you all about the product launch. Yay. Um, is the background fabric from Boulevard around yet? No. I know. We're stressing about that, Diana. Um, yeah, we're really struggling to get fabrics in, especially on the Boulevard fabrics. You should have gotten... If, you, if your name was still... If you haven't received your kit... Uh, and your name was on for a kit, you should have received a phone call seeing if you were okay substituting so that we could um, go forth with the uh, class. Um, if you haven't gotten a call, give one of the stores a call so we can see what's going on um, because it's gonna be, the, we're just having a really hard time getting the fabric in off of a back order. And, um... Jan, the Floriani events are going to be based on the kit cost, so it depends on how elaborate the kits are. Um, Floriani actually sets those because they're completely in charge. They provide the educator and the kits and everything for us. So, um, so again, it depends on the kit cost on how much those events are going to be. Yeah, we should, Becky, try to do a zoom broadcast huh the floriani live is through floriani it's not through above and beyond but you sign up through above and beyond so make sure you call us to sign up and we're going to get you the information from floriani to get you into that We've got a lot of uh, of mad faces Uh oh. i know why are they mad i don't know i think because of the fabric which is kind of a bummer. Yeah. Yeah. 
How are we doing? Just having a blast. Doing great. We're having a blast. Mm -hmm. Christine can't wait for the weather to get cold. And she yeah. wants to go pumpkin hunting. I know, hunting. exactly. Pumpkin, pumpkin hunting. hunting. <laughs> <laughs> pumpkin picking. I know, but it's kind of, I wonder how Halloween's going to work this year. Heather, this design comes from the bike shop or bike store or something like yeah. that. I don't know. but It's like BB embroidery or something as well. So, by the way, we've got a lot of new people again. So I want to go over this one more time for you. Um, the designs for all of our lives are on our website at aboveandbeyondsewing.com. You're going to go to our calendar tab to the events section of the calendar tab and click on the day that you want and it'll provide either a link or um yeah there's a link for a the, link for the, the for to download it or, or a link for instructions the designs, or, or the directions or we always put something up there um i have also been linking the facebook video up to there as well um for the month of august i might not have done all of them from this week but you can even find that there as well so everything is there. So again, any of the projects that you want to sew out are on our website under the calendars and events tab. Yep, and they stay up there for, so the only ones that we ever take down are the Kimberbell Corner ones. And thanks they for that, still be there. Jan. And again, we will have that um, link up um, right after the video is yes, done. And yes, I will show you that, um, I'm just gonna change the next color. You're fine. Okay. Um, they want to see the the bobbin cover for the bobbin work that I was showing yesterday. Where did you put it? Um, who knows? Um, I will look. I think maybe it's in here. No. Yeah. I, I will. Okay. Hold, please. Kate's gonna take over. Well, somewhere over here. I seen them this morning. Now you can all talk about Patrick. Yeah. Oh wait. I don't know, Patrick. Okay, I'm just changing it for the next color of pumpkin. They were all in the bag. Yeah, they were. All Sherry, contact us um, or give us a call, and um, Christine or myself can help you with that. Okay, so let me show you that why Christine's finishing that sewing. So again, for our project yesterday, we did the bobbin work, and this is the bobbin case for you baby lock and brother owners, okay? And then this is the needle plate cover that you need for this particular, um, again, you can use this all the time if you want to. The bad part about it is it doesn't have any of the marks on it, like the quarter inch marks or anything, but it does have the little pointy things to hold that bobbin in place. Okay, so that's what you're going to need in order to do that bobbin work. Um, and it does come with the bobbin work kit. Okay, so no, that's what you're looking Connie, for. Connie, this would be from Patrick from yesterday. She okay. asked if they were underneath there. Oh, no, yeah. So, yeah, he'll, he'll probably move them in 2021. <laughs> <laughs> no, we will before that. Um, our, <laughs> our Kimberbell Corner is actually going to be next uh, Tuesday. Tuesday. So we just put it back one week um, because we were running a little bit behind. So next Tuesday. Yep. Yep. You guys are very observant. You even saw my bobbin cases there and everything, huh? <laughs> <laughs> so they're all going to start lecturing me on picking up after myself, huh? <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I should do brown in that one too. I'm gonna change it up. I did change it up. Did yes, and the thread did? nest is still there, Linda. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> That'll be 2021 too. <laughs> Maybe I'll clean it up tomorrow since there's no live here. Tomorrow. Yeah, really, there you go. Okay. What batting for the boulevard? I think Kate just used um, Ultra Soft, right? I'm sorry? What Ultrasoft? batting for the boulevard? Yeah, Baby Lock Ultra Soft. Yep, so she it's, just used, did you use anything else? No. Um, Baby so, Lock yep. Ultra Soft, Margaret. So it's Baby Lock Ultra Soft is the batting for that. So you put it on every one of the, the background blocks.
You know, Lori, the um, sewing machine door hanger, that came from this too, right? Correct. But is it, it do they take it down? Is it a monthly No, thing? I actually, it's still, so I believe, I guess I could double check, um, I took the website down um, and I put up the actual design files. So okay. they should be up there. And I did that. When did I do that? Tuesday? And, and yes, Tuesday? Lori, you can bring in a USB stick and we'll yes. put that on a USB for you. And the red thread under the table. You guys are awesome. <laughs> <laughs> that was me. That's a Christine thing. Yeah. Okay. So we've done all the pumpkins and we've done all the decorative stitches in the pumpkins. Now we are going to do the little vines and the stems and the leaves. And we're going to do that in grain. Well, I am. I was going to say, why grain? Why grain? Well, I don't know. Why not? That's right. You want them in black? And brown. Well, but that's brown. Oh, yeah, you're right. It looks cute green. Sort of. Yeah, it does look cute green. That I was wish a good color it would have had this, these sewn separate than the stems because I would have done the stems brown. Perfect. But they're not. They're the same. I'm going to do this a different color. Yeah, I actually like what you did on the second one better. Yeah, me too. Yeah, so she did the brown all the way through the pumpkins on the second one, and I think it looks better than that. And I also switched, so I did this on these two instead. Ah. Mm -hmm. Oh, you're just switching it up everywhere. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> Can't have two with the exact same. And yes, ladies, by the way, if you have brother and baby lock machines, they read the DST file settings. So you can yes. use DST for your machines. And it's actually kind of funny because when you download these designs and you put them into this machine, it'll bring up both the DST and the PES. Oh, will it? Okay, good. Okay. But none of the other ones, obviously. Yep. <laughs> Yipper. Yeah, the DST is kind of funny because it has wrong colors on there, it so it, it won't recognize color. Mm -hmm. So you have to be careful on that because it'll tell you a weird color and you'll make purple yeah, when it comes pumpkins. Up on here, it has like purple outlining. And, yeah, exactly. And, yeah, it looks totally different than this one. Yeah, it's a commercial format, so it doesn't read colors. Mm. A little bit of trivia there. Did you know that? I did not know that. Oh, okay. I can hear my voice in the background. <laughs> I don't know what color to do the harvest blessings. I like the color choice that you have. The brown is nice. How about this one? Where'd you get that fancy thread? I actually won these out at Kimberville. Oh, did you really? Yeah. Is I'm that the Hemingway? But Hemming this way? one is called Fall Harvest. Oh, well, see, so there you go. You had to it. use it. That's right. Yeah, I, they, were, they give them away in these little packs, and you can win them and stuff. So I have some random colors. So do they specialize in door hangings? Because that's the second one that we've done. I don't know. Yeah. But I am going to show you. So I was going to do it with the one that I'm stitching out. But so you can add the twine to make it your a door hanger or hanging thing. But... And this is a hanging thing too, but I, wait. Uh-oh. <laughs> it came on the red. Oh, I see, okay. Um, I'm weird, which I know everybody knows that already, but I wouldn't let, I wouldn't like this just on my wall. Okay? Yeah, I would agree with that. So what I do with a lot of other stuff too, like I'll just, they have these really cute little blank things at like Walmart or Michaels 
And so uh, see, what that's I huge. would do yeah. is I would take, not put the twine in there, and I would just take and like hot glue this onto here or something, and then I would hang this in my house with this on it. See, there and you go. Totally That's your own. It me. does. That's for sure. That's a good idea, <laughs> so actually. They, they sell like blank stuff like this, and I do it with a lot of other things, too, for um, embroideries, and I just buy the little blank things and put them on there, and I think it looks cool. That is so super that cute. Well. That's right. That's perfect. You a Plus, you get, a, you get to use hot glue. Yeah, and I love hot glue. Yes, you do. So you could do that with it as well, which I think is makes it a little bit cuter. It is super duper cute. Super duper. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, I'm surprised. A creative Kiwi should have PES format. I'm not sure why you guys are struggling finding that. So. Oh, that's weird. Yeah, use Velcro and change things out. Well, there you go. Yeah, you can do it seasonally. That's perfect. That's a good idea too. Show them something else I did. Oh, so this is something that I've done before too. So again, they had this little thing at Walmart, and then oh, this yeah. is a Kimberbell, like the little mini quilt wall hanging thing. Yeah. Um, and the way that they are sewn together is this little back piece. So I hot glued some magnets <laughs> of course in you it did. inside of there. And then you can just pop it onto here. Oh, wow, can, that's awesome. And you could interchange it. So, please don't. <laughs> <laughs> All right, she left me hanging, ladies. Yeah, the metal one was really a good idea. Well, he hi, Debbie Denny. Long time no see. Okay, so. All right, I'm she's back. I'm going to show you these because I think these are really cute. But first, we're going to switch our thread. <laughs> well, do we have to find some stuff to talk about? So now it's going to be. You're doing a great idea. I mean, a great blessings. thing. Well, because I think it makes it just cuter when you put them on something. I don't know. That's right. The thing I love about these Facebook Lives is the interaction. You guys have great ideas out there. Okay, so these are the newest ones from Kimberbell. So, like for fall, this one. So, you could put the little magnets in there, just like this, and then you could switch them out. And I think that is so much more cuter than just this. I agree. That's a <laughs> so good point. So all of these are in one design pack, and we're actually going to be stitching out a project out of this design pack, design pack for one of the lives. Oh, how cool is that? Well, see, isn't that fun? Yeah, that's really neat. And then all you have to do is hot glue some magnets. Yep, when it's uh, fall like it's about to be. Yeah, and then Christmas. And what comes after fall, Christine? Winter. Uh, Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> Christmas, no. not winter. Christmas. <laughs> Ideas. Where did you get the frame? I believe Walmart. Oh, really? Wow. They're in their, like, crafting section. Yeah. Uh, where they have, like, the beads and painting and stuff like that. They always have these, like, random um, little... It came from Walmart, the crafting section at Walmart. Yeah. Kind of just make it fun. Maybe. Yeah, corrugated metal would be kind of cool, too. You could make your own, maybe, yeah. if you're really, really yeah, creative. Actually, you can take this metal out. And how much for that Kimberbell design pack? really cute design pack and we are going to be doing something out of it really soon um and it has the different towels in it so it has the winter um the spring and summer and then the fall towel and then it has those two wall hangings for each uh, season in the large size which is the one i just showed you and then a smaller size and then it has these two um little saying ornament things as well in here and this design pack is $29.95, um, but all the little buttons and stuff like that are separate, um, but they're really cute. And the, the first frame that you showed, where did you get that one? It's Walmart. That was Walmart mm -hmm. too? That's all in the crafting section of Walmart. Yeah, they just have random little wood things. Yeah, that's kind of neat too. I like the color of it. It's really cool. Yeah. Yep. So, 
Yeah, Hobby Lobby would be another great oh, yeah. place to go so for that. Yeah, exactly. Lobby, yep. You could get them there too. Now what? Now what? <laughs> <laughs> that took at least 10 minutes, so that was good. It is pretty cute. Oh, that's just wild. I hate when that happens. <laughs> Threads out, ladies. Look, we were actually prepared this time. She had a whole thing of bobbins ready to go here. <laughs> That's crazy. I just it's kind of funny because you smart. guys know on these machines, when that bobbin is out, yeah. they ain't lying. No, you can't go. Yeah, you cannot go. Longer. Yeah. <laughs> I wouldn't risk it. <laughs> what size is your birthday sample? That is That would be considered the, the large size as well. Where did you get the magnets from? Uh, just like um, and you yeah no they are like in the school section where they have the whiteboards oh really they're just a, i just got a pack of like nine of them they're just little and how um, do you put interchange them between the different patterns i'm asking because i mean between the different things well you wouldn't you'd have to put different magnets in each one of them oh i, I see okay magnets. okay i don't think the magnets would stay yeah you would there's no way so they're just little circle magnets and I just hot glued them to the back and then so it, like this kind of covers them up and then you just do that and then so you would do the same thing with these ones so you would just put the magnets you could just do two probably and then and hide it over there and then it would stick perfect like that. yep you two. can even make it double-sided and put one on each side well this one looks a little tacky no yeah. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> okay. I see your point. Yeah. For a cameo club. So we haven't done this one yet. This is one we could do for corner. Oh, there you go. That'd be a good one. Yep. A cute one. And see, this would make such a better birthday gift than just this. Yeah, that's a good point. I agree. <laughs> that's for sure. <laughs> Long time. No, it's and doing all right. And we still haven't done the satin stitching around the edges. Yeah, that's only 10 minutes. <laughs> only 10 minutes. <laughs> that's right. These are probably one of Yeah, we need to do the birthday one for Corner, Jerry says. That's a hey. good idea. By the way, Corner is on Tuesday. Mm -hmm. That's going to be exciting. So you guys need to make sure you tune in. Again, that... Well, actually, we got it tomorrow, and then that'll be the next one. Yep. Yeah, because we are no live on Monday, remember? Hmm. Oh, it's right. Uh-oh. <laughs> Uh-oh. Please Yep. Oh, man. There you go. Thank you. We need power, ladies. Sorry. Kate, do you have any announcements? <laughs> oh, you want to talk Maybe about... Um, shipping us some sewing machines. That's a good thing. Um, that's a novel idea. Yeah, really. Uh, you want to talk about um, new products launch? <laughs> okay. Um, have, we done, have we gone over the um, Chemical events? No. And the dates? No. Okay, let's go ahead and we'll do that, Patrick. Oh, um, he's stuck right here. No, just kidding. He's not dead yet. Nope, I'm not dead yet. <laughs> <laughs> we're um, we're running out of batteries, ladies. Not dead yet. No, yeah. it's it's Monty Python actually. No, Phil Collins's last um, last hooray was I'm still not dead or something like that. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Um, a little bit more ready, okay? So this is the one we're not going to show you right now. No, I'm just joking. I'm just joking. Okay. They're not all done yet. There's so still two more projects. There is two more projects that go with this one, but this one is one that a lot of you have been asking for, and it is called Merry and Bright. And we are going to do this one just in time for Christmas. So this one is going to be December 
fourth and fifth. Yep. Isn't it adorable? So it is really cute. Um, look at these. They're just oh, so yeah, cute. Those are neat. Yeah. Michelle tried to put those in her hair. <laughs> <laughs> um, and it actually has a little gold button or something that goes in the center here that holds that them together. That you can together. hot glue. Hot glue. There that's you go. the theme of the day. <laughs> hot glue them into Michelle's that's, hair. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> um, what are the other two projects that go along with so this one? So it thing? is a zipper, like a little zipper pouch that kind of looks like a candy cane striped. And then a cinch gingerbread bag. Oh, very cool. Yes, they're really cute. So Amanda that's doing those ones. Okay, so Amanda is sewing up a couple of those samples yep. for us. So we will have those for sure for the new product launch. Yes. Okay. Um, the one before that one, this one is in the end of October. Um, correct? So, yep. Yeah. So this is the um, this is the same as the stuff that we were just looking at. So this is the same little mini quilt wall hangings But this one's concept. made in flannel. So you guys could put magnets in it. And That's put it on right. Your there you go. <laughs> or or your, you could buy these really new cute metal hangers. Board. Which these are hangers are really cute too. The little hangers are very cute. What date is this one? Do you and remember? And we have a remember. cozy wrap right here, which of course it says stay cozy. You can, you don't necessarily have to wrap this around a coffee cup. So if you're not a coffee it drinker or you're not candles. gifting it. Yeah, absolutely. You can put it around a candle. So lots of different options for the, um, the wraps. And they're adjustable to different sizes because you just tie them on with the ribbon. Can you use it as an armband? If you <laughs> want to. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Good. And then we also have this one, which we haven't washed away our stabilizer in. But this is actually lace. Okay. Oh, that's cute. Look yeah, at that. So we and need it's got to... the glitter on there, too. I uh -huh. like that. That's it's cool. got the Kimberbell glitter. And you learn how to embroider right on the corner of an item. And then this is actually lace, but we just haven't... Watch Looks like a, a French way. guy that they forgot to give eyes to. A French guy? Yeah, he's got his little, what do they call that type, type of hat? Of French guys, do you know? A derby hat or something, <laughs> isn't that? Doesn't that look like a guy? No. Sorry. I'm not sure where you're getting <laughs> I got that distracted from. a little bit okay. there. And then let's look at, um, where's the jubilee? Well, let's do this one. Of course, I think you all know this one by now. This one is our Winter Wonderland. Um, so the Winter Wonderland. Hooray, that's it. Thank you, ladies. Yes, yeah, see, they knew what I was talking about. Whether they see it or not. <laughs> Christine, the lights aren't coming on. Uh-oh, the battery dead? I don't know. That's right. I think we left the lights on too long. We did. And it is French, right? It is a French word. That's a good thing. Okay, so this is the Winter Wonderland, and we're making the really cute little pillow. We're making the advent calendar that has the little lace um, and tags on it. By the way, ladies, I think the we're down to like the last five spots or so on yeah, the we're winter really wonderland close. we're getting really close to running out of kits on that so and because it's next week we will not be able to order any more in in time um it's got the cardinal and then this is christine's favorite these are the new felt balls and it's got the gold leather and it's got the mylar um and it's an actual <laughs> usable little stocking Okay, so I think it's really super cute. If you're really, really mad at your kid, it is. I think it would be cute without the hanger to put like on your door for or on your door, on your table for silverware. For Absolutely, the table. I did that one year. Yeah, I made would stockings. Be, wouldn't that be cute? Yeah, and used it as a silverware holder. That's good. Um, let's go over and take a look at um, Here, Jubilee. Here, let's do this real quick because I'm almost done, and then I can stitch while you're talking. Okay. Okay. So I have trimmed my two pieces on the front and so I have turned it to the back so this is where you are going to sandwich your piece of twine in here you do want to make sure that you are measuring uh, where you're putting it so I'm eyeballing it <laughs> so and I'm gonna do the second line here is where I'm gonna put my end point for that and then I'm just gonna come in and I'm gonna eyeball I'm gonna it measure it again yep <laughs> measure that one and put a piece of tape. Perfect. Okay. So that tape is gonna it permanently stay in. It actually does stay in, yes. Okay. Okay, and then you'll take your piece of backing and you will cover up the whole project. And you'll wanna put some tape on here. 
what is the next mystery and when? Oh, my goodness. Are you serious right now? <laughs> That's what somebody <laughs> mystery asked. Mystery 8 or Mystery 9? <laughs> yeah, really. <laughs> mystery 8 is next. But we haven't finished Mystery 7 yet, have we? Nope. They're okay. not talking about Mystery 9, right? I hope not. No, yeah. I can't keep okay. up with that. Kate so figured that out, by the mystery way. Mystery 8 will start next week. Next week is when we're okay, going to start so Mystery I'm 8. I'm going to do a tack down stitch for the backing, and then you're going to trim your backing. But make sure that when you trim up top here, you don't cut those. So I'm just going to do the tack down. Do you have to? Oh, no, never mind. Wine bobbins. What? Is that what you were going to ask? No, I was oh. going to ask if you have to worry about that twine. I taped it out of the way. Yeah. Well, I just taped it up. So cute. And Betsy, we are going to tape the... Um, we decided we're going to tape that and put it on YouTube for the finishing of the love notes. Oh, yeah, I was going to do that today. Yeah, we're going to try to get that done fairly soon here. Okay, so now you're just going to trim your back piece, but make sure when you trim up here, you get this away so you don't cut your twine. And then you can do your jar satin stitch, and then you're almost done. And uh, you're gonna put the matching bobbin in next, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you wanna match your bobbin um, for the back part. It does the top of the jar and the bottom of the jar separate, so if you wanna wind two different bobbins, um, you can. That's probably a good idea. Mm -hmm. um, the, good ideas. He always has good ideas. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> um, the little all quilt hanger, is that 590? No, it's more than that, isn't it? Which one? The, the hanger that you had on the... Oh, the little swirl hanger. It's 599, isn't it? Mm -hmm. I'll get you a price. I think it is. Hold on, we'll get you a price for that. What is the date of the acorn event? The little, the little French guy event. Uh, November. Okay, so you'll want to put in your matching bobbin for We're your getting a date hat. on that too, ladies, so sorry. You think I would remember it by now, but I don't. Rhonda, we will find out on the Mystery 8. I think most of those kits are done and cut, so we need to, um, we'll be on that and let you know. It's 11-7. Thanks, Cindy. I was right. You were right. For once. Isn't that nice? Okay, so now it's going to do the satin <laughs> stitch around the bottom. And you've got the right bobbin thread in there? Yep. Okay. 549. 549 oh. on those hangers. Okay, so now we can talk more about these. Okay. So then we have our Kimberbell Sugar Plum Jubilee event which is this little um it's not so little it looks pretty big garland thingy obsessed um i seen one of, in the email that kate sent out today they actually took these like components and put them on a wreath for christmas which i think was oh that's a good idea yeah i've seen them on christmas presents as like oh, the um yeah, so you don't tag. have to just do this yeah, but <laughs> the bonus cd for this this one is really cute Maybe we should talk about bonus CD, should we talk about Yeah. That? Okay, so if you guys have never done a Kimberbell event, you should, um, <laughs> because they're amazing. But each Kimberbell event has a bonus CD that if you spend $100, you get the bonus CD, and you can only get that CD from the event. And they have some really, really cute designs. Like this one is like a little Christmas village um, that I've actually seen so if people used Halloween fabrics to make it a Halloween village or a Christmas village, so those are really cute. Um, so each each event has its own bonus design and they're all really, really cute. The bonus design for Winter Wonderland is really cute too. So, so this one is Wednesday, September 30th. This is what they call a spark event. So this is a lot, a much shorter event. So the projects are a little bit easier, a little bit more quick. Um, so this is September 30th from 10 to two, and this event is only $69. Good deal. Okay. Um, our last event that we're going to talk about, and we've talked about it before, is the, this is the only one we have, like, <laughs> is the tea party. Um, so this has six projects, right? Yep. And it is a two-day event, October 16th and 17th. Um, so, again, you'll do this super cute tea towel, a little mug rug, 
a zipper pouch, a card, a candle mat or a, can a candy mat. What? Candle mat or a candy bowl? Candy bowl. Candy bowl, then, candy bowl mat. <laughs> and a cinched bag. So those are kind of, those are all of our camper ball events. We talked about our Floriani event, which is a new, new, new one. And is that all? I think that's it. That's good. Okay. So um, new products launch, ladies. I've, I've seen a lot of questions on here. Again, all of these events are on our webpage. Yes. So even the Floriani, Kate, is yes. it up yet? Okay. Yep. So all of them are on our webpage, and you can sign up again online. You can sign up through the store. So just give us a call or go online. And if you want to do it through PayPal, you can do it that way. Um, the um, new products launch is going to be on Tuesday, or excuse me, on Wednesday of next week. And it'll be two o'clock, but we're gonna be doing it in two formats. And again, you're gonna be getting an email on it in about a half hour here, telling you all about the, the new products launch. Um, it'll go from two o'clock, it's probably gonna take a couple hours. So it'll go two to four, it will be our live on Wednesday. So we will be doing it just as a normal live. Um, we have a lot of fun interacting with you ladies and I think it'll be a lot of fun that way. So, um, so again, we are gonna do the new products launch as a live, um, totally live event. So, um, and we'll have a lot to show you. We will have the wish list up on the website by Tuesday, so you guys can download that and get it all ready, and you'll be able to follow along with us. The, the wish list is in the order of the products that we're gonna be talking about. So, um, so we're really looking forward to that. After that, it will be um, uh, on our YouTube page, so you can view it at a later time also, or those of you, again, those of you who aren't on Facebook, like I'm talking to you, because all of you are on Facebook. <laughs> so, but for who, all of you not on Facebook. That's right. So whoever's not on Facebook can view it. If you have any friends who don't like, um, doing who yeah, who don't like doing Facebook, you'll be able to view it on our YouTube page. Very cool. Can I make just a and question? the gentleman too, by the way. Thanks, Jan. Yes. done like love note classes we have done the boulevard class oh, or we're sorry. going to do the boulevard but that is not a kimberval event so there is no bonus cds that go along with that no that's okay? a good point yes so the bonus cds are an actual kimberval event where you get one of their little vinyl pouches with the zipper with all of the products inside that little bag okay so those are the actual events so and those ones you have, have to attend the event and spend a hundred dollars on Kimberbell product to receive the bonus CD. Yes. You can't even come into the store and buy the bonus CD. You actually have to attend the event to get the bonus CD. Yes. Good deal. Okay. okay. Sorry if I confused anybody on that. I just jumped right into it. Yes, you did. That's <laughs> all right. So are we, how are we looking on here? We're just finishing the, um, the top of the jar and then we're done. I did it darker, this one. I don't know if I like it as much. Looks a little yeah, bit I don't know either. I like that one. I like this one better. Yeah. This color anyway. Oh well. Yeah. You win Actually, they're you both cute. That's right. I think they, they're, they're super Dad. cute. Both of them. Is Flo ready? <laughs> Hold on, let's ask her. <laughs> Kate? <laughs> Doesn't she look like Flo? No. <laughs> yeah. I have to f start looking for that costume or I'm going to be in big trouble. Your costume for Flo. The Halloween stores are open now and they have them at the Halloween store. Mm -hmm. It's a real costume. No, yes, it is. Absolutely. <laughs> you guys have to tune in on Wednesday. <laughs> I feel like I've got a sickness coming. <laughs> Kate all of a sudden has coronavirus. Don't say that. No, I'm sorry. Yeah, that was bad. Sorry. 
Knock on wood. <laughs> that was horrible. Knock on wood. You've been knocking on a lot more than that. <laughs> <laughs> that was not even a funny joke. <laughs> she is much prettier than Flo, yes. Unfortunately, it is a real costume. It is. I've seen people <laughs> dress up as it. I don't know what I'm going to be for Halloween. You're going to sure be. My son will decide you're going to be that. mayhem. Mayhem? Who's that? That's the Allstate guy. <laughs> the Allstate guy. <laughs> I'm not even going to be there. <laughs> so, I'm not dressing up. Guys. We'll make, actually, we will make Matt. We'll make Matt be mayhem. That'd be very funny. There you go. He even looks I'm like sure him. He'd love it. Yes. And somebody's got to be the gecko. That's the other one. Gecko. We're almost done, ladies. Woohoo! I promise. Look at that. What time is it? It's ten after three. It's ten after. Yeah, you did good. Well, we're it's done. It's a very cute project, isn't it? It is cute. Okay. Um, Scissors. There they are. Okay, so now you're just going to take and trim very close to your stitches on the outside. And don't cut and don't your cut twine. Your, yeah, don't cut your twine at the top. Um, and don't cut your stitches. Yeah, maybe that's the problem, Harriet, is I do watch too many commercials. Clearly. <laughs> Clearly. <laughs> you guys got me started with this whole Jake from State Farm thing, so it's your fault. Okay. I'm gonna take it out so I can get closer up here so I do a better job. Oh wow, they don't have Halloween in South Africa. Oh wow. You should change that. Uh... Okay. Oh, I was like, why is this stuck? Because of your... <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, so I don't know what Kate is watching, but... <laughs> I'm looking at my costume for next week. Oh, good. <laughs> and then, so you'll just go in and you'll get this little bits and pieces around the edge wet. And then you have your... Super cute, super cute little project. Okay. And you can put it on a... Yeah, you don't have to do the twine, remember. That's right. You can do something else. It could be a coaster or something. That's awesome. All right. All right, everybody. I think we're all set for today. So you guys have a wonderful, wonderful evening. And again, tomorrow is Friday. And we are going to be coming to you live from Littleton tomorrow. So um, that should be fun. And with that, we are signing off. Bye, Bye everybody.